dancing. We always Vicky. dance. Vicky, oh, dance. you didn't get the memo. I'm that sorry, you didn't tell me. <laughs> we need to do the music. Yeah, there you go. No, no, Max, I thought you had like a new move. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like, why, why, why aren't you dancing? I, I, how do you do? Why aren't you dancing? Let's start it all, all over again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh, that's what we do when we're we're waiting for the live cast to come on. We kind of party and have a party. So we've been partying. Guess who's here? Vicky's hey. here. Vicky Blanco Hi, is here from Chile, Chile. Yes. Like the time from you eat. You probably would like some good hot chili, but no. Uh, no, I don't like it. You don't like chili, okay. <laughs> no, don't go to Texas. Chile. No don't chili. To, like, she likes chile, which is... Anyway, so Betsy's <laughs> here. Greg is here. Vicky, Bian Vicky Blanco is here. Blanco. 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 I know. Mm -hmm. I almost said Bianco. I said Blanco. I fixed myself. You always That's call me Bianco in the chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but it's the same. You know, Bianco is Italian for Bianco. Yeah, Bianco is Italian. Yeah. So you can call me White too. Yeah, Vicky White. <laughs> <laughs> Internationally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's she is at her parents' beautiful home and on the coast, the western coast. She's she says mm -hmm. she could put her toes in the Pacific. But yeah. it's too cold to do that, so mm, we're not really yeah. cold. So she and Betsy have stuff going on this morning, but really quick, I want to say good morning to everybody else. Oh. Hey, y'all. Thank you for hey. being here. Uh, Audrey Martin was here first. She was here at mm. 9. She's like, yeah, I'm going early. <laughs> you know, so I came in at about 9.30 and said hi right after uh, John Tyner did. Lisa Gervais is here. Thank you, Lisa, for getting the uh, information up for us on the uh, information on the uh, social media. Thank you very much. And also, thank you for being in the background and helping us mm -hmm. out. Uh, mm -hmm. Sue Krerar is here, who has a street named after her family in my neighborhood. All no. these good <laughs> Canadians. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, Mickey Baisley is here. It's good morning from Central New York. Hey, Mickey. Hey, nice Mickey. to see you. Hey. Hillary Gatsby is here. She's uh, in sunny Wales yeah. this morning. I don't know. Yeah. It's there's uh, sun in Wales. Not often. <laughs> <laughs> Yoke is here. David Dodd. David, are we cousins? Because I have Dodds. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. South Carolina Dodds. Uh, Ari say good morning to John Tyner, she, but he's mm -hmm. celebrating, I think, his son's birthday today. That's a cool thing. Susie Cardas oh. here. Chris Wine. Marie Carpenter. Chris Ferriello. <laughs> Mary Sleppy is here. Hey, Mary. Hey, Hunt Cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Running on down. There's only one coast in Chile, Max. That's funny. You're funny. Yeah. But yeah. That is true. <laughs> That's very true. I was just repeating verbatim the words yes. that Vicky had said. Uh, <clears throat> Janine's here. Hey, Janine. Susan Anderson. Uh, Day Mellon the first is here. Hi, just arrived. Boy, she got here right after we started. Jerry's here. Um, Debbie K. Johnson and other people will be wandering in. If you're watching us after the fact, please give us an upload uh, vote. If you're watching right now and it's live and you're covering your eyes, that's fine. Just give us an upvote. We like yes. that. Like it. Uh, and we will. I'm gonna. We're gonna switch things up this morning. Betsy, what do you have going on? Well, um, Vicky is here. And so I think we'll, Why? we'll yeah. So um Vicky is here because she is running our profile makeover challenge, which is a mm -hmm. monthly challenge, uh, yeah. nicknamed Dash of Love. Some people mm -hmm. might know by that name. And um she's gonna show off what happened in April. Yes, yes, I, I will quickly show you uh what we did. Um this is First of all, I wanted to say this is a really nice challenge because we usually do challenges where we need quantity and we're we're quickly creating profiles and then we leave them aside. So this is a challenge for you to in one month. Yeah, Max. Quality. Q. Yeah. The Q. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's Q is quantity too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so like yeah. That. Yeah, quantity. And you can take a whole month to embellish a profile and to um, rehearse with your makeover skills in in a wiki markup uh, language, you know. 
So um, we every month we post this invitation to join the, the challenge that I will show you. Um, please tell me if you can see my screen. I wish <laughs> I hope to do this right. <laughs> That's OK. Oh, OK, um, should we add, I'll add you to the stage. Oh, you did it. OK, okay. I did it. Oh. oh, go ahead. Do it again. OK, OK. You Are you seeing me? Tab you want to share there. Are you seeing the, your the G2G post? Nope. Click the we're tab. Seeing, we're it. seeing the whole screen, so we see it. Just click the okay. tab you want to show, Vicky. Mm -hmm. I'm clicking it. Uh, nope. Do you have two monitors, Vicky? No, just one. So mm -hmm. up at the top, along you know the, the row. I'm doing that. Okay, let me do it again. Oh, no rush, sharing. no worry, Vicky. I Take wasn't sharing. There I am. Now I'm kaleidoscoping, right? Right. And there. Oh, and yeah. now you oh, see. Wow. Yay. Yay. Finally. Thank you. Sorry. So this is the G2G post. We we post every month to invite you. And you'll see instructions to join. You don't have to be an experienced wiki trader to participate, OK? Uh, this is a challenge to learn. That's what, what we love about this challenge. You'll find a free space page. Are you seeing this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's all the information. And we have our April showcase. And that's what I'm showing to you now. And this is what I want to do for every month. I, I will say, what's the profile that we're making over? A before and after a screenshot. And what were the dashes of love that the person added? Okay, so our first participant in <laughs> April mm -hmm. is our Betsy, our dear Betsy. And this is these are all the dashes of love I identified in her profile makeover. Okay, so every... Uh, Dash of Love is linked to a help page I love where you can that. see how to improve a, a bio, ideas for writing a bio, what means to put categories, okay? Uh, how do you add sources? Okay, how do you add a sticker? Uh, what is a see also section and why is it important? Okay, so um, every, every link you see for instance, um, categorization, and it takes you to help, right? That's so, so great, because sometimes you look at a profile and you think, that looks great. I want to do that. How do I do that? And yeah, it's so easy for everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, and we can all learn new tricks, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the before picture of Marion Francis with Menzi, which is uh, Betsy's profile. This was the before. She only had one line in her bio mm -hmm. and uh, sources had one, just his uh, father and his, her husband, sorry, mm -hmm. her father. And this is the after. Ooh. You can see she uh, Betsy put a background image uh, now we, she has an extensive biography, and this is only done from the sources. You see, Betsy said Marion was born in the family must have moved just by reading the sources. Betsy made a great bio. She's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> she put some research notes. Ooh, um, she had a nice background notes. too. I like the. I yeah, love it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really good. Uh, and she added more sources, and and she completed her family with siblings. She got, she got a mother. Her mother. <laughs> she got a mother. Yeah, she has a mother. Yeah. So that was a great makeover. Nice. Not every makeover is is or has to be this this extent, but this is a good example too. Uh, a, a one line biography, a few sources, and nothing else. And now we have a. A picture, a primary photo. Nice. Oh, and did you see we're giving this sticker to yes. profiles that have been made over? 
Thank you. And Ash. also, thank you, Matt. yes, Asher, we love our mm -hmm. new stickers. And uh, the Dasher, the people that makes the makeover, has yeah. a sticker too for their profile. I have a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That dash, is that the dash between our birth date and our death date? Yes. Okay, yes. Oh. Yes, okay. <laughs> but these are dashes of, of love. Mm -hmm. dashes. <laughs> Lovely dashes. Yes, yes. It's like sprinkling our profiles with love. Okay. So these are great examples. This is mine. You see, this was a, a mm, somehow developed profile. I had put on some pictures. I had the whole family, some stickers. You see, my bio was awful, just a few lines and not, not, very, not much fact. Yeah, not, not much text. But I transformed it into a nice bio. Mm -hmm. you oh, see? lovely. Yeah, the, the, nice. these are, are kind of uh, the kind of ideas that we want everyone to have. For instance, putting the signature. I love it's that. Really I nice love signature. That. Yeah, and maybe you didn't even think about that. And because this is a special case, I don't have any picture of, of my my relative. So I what did I do? I had a, a signature, I had pictures of his funeral. Mm. This is a picture about uh, one of the battles he was in. So you you can do stuff. Even if you don't have the material, you can put, uh, I don't know, a picture of the city where he lived um, mm. or a crest of, I used a crest of arms. How do you call that? Coat of arms. Yeah. Yeah. Coat of arms. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Once. Um, so this profile really grew with just a touch of love. One month of love. One month okay. of love. Okay. Yeah. This is the next profile. You see also a really short bio. And then not a big or a huge transformation, but you you it, it now looks different just by adding a little bit of more text, stickers, and, and you're called to do what you can do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to learn. Right. You see new big new new profiles, and now you think, oh, I can do that for my profile. Mm -hmm. And this is the after look. It was. It really looks different. If you don't know how to do a, a table, now you will know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Our next profile. Look, really short. This was the before uh, picture. This was mm -hmm. a profile made by Asher. And now it has a bio and sources, and it looks really great, really different. Oh, interesting. The sources have the um, census tables in them. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Yes. Yes. I like that. that yeah, that's really, really easy to do, having sorcerer. And mm -hmm. you can build your own tables. Right. And um, my, we don't evaluate our profile or maker or makeovers. Um, mm -hmm. We just, we just say what did the person do and how to do it and, we, and we don't say this is better than that or right. she's the best it's not a competition not a competition it's a calm challenge a different challenge from from maybe what we're used to mm -hmm. you know running and, and tracking results um and these dashes of love i evaluate them uh according to um uh, david randall's completed profile checklist mm -hmm. where where he uh, separates primary data and bio uh lisa can you throw that uh link up for us in so i can post that please oh yeah sure or you can i was or, gonna get I lisa it. to do it because she's in the background playing or mm -hmm. maybe Look at how okay. fast she is wow <laughs> there's the uh, challenge awesome <laughs> oh, you were talking about the completed profile checklist? Yeah, this is yeah. this is the, our base to evaluate. So I use primary data, biography, and other. And for other, I just photographs or if the profile is connected. Um, and and I use I use also this this instance the style. Yeah. 
Okay, so people will, will learn how to uh, put form format to the text, uh, use inline references or use inline embedded photographs, things like that, that embellish our profiles. Okay, so this is it. Yeah. Um, this we is the, have, I believe the, Azure has your back, so yeah. Yeah. Hey, Thank you. We have, uh, for me, we have um, 18 participants or 16 Ooh. participants. So the next month we have a lot more of profiles for Ooh. this challenge. Yes. So I invite you all, you're, you're on time. You're still on time to, to join. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. How did you get involved in this, uh, Vicky? I participated in, in every challenge and I really loved the challenge. So I took over by Betsy's invitation. And That's for right. for That's everybody right. for everybody else they to participate, they just all they have to do is sign up on the G two G post, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you have a whole month to do it. So a whole month. It's really yeah. yeah. No rush. That's great, Vicky. You gonna stay with us while we we do the rest of the live cast here this morning? Oh um, no! Please do your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bother you. I, I I really like to watch you guys. <laughs> to be in the chat. So much. That was very very helpful. And some of the Thank comments you. coming in uh, that you didn't see was this is so helpful. We mm -hmm. need training. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's from Mary from South Dakota. Oh, and Mary, come, Laura come was challenge. agreeing. Uh, mm -hmm. So yay! And other people. Jerry says he'll try it. So great job. Thank you very much. Yay! Great. Yeah. Thank you guys and, for inviting me. Oh, Mr. Nice says, see you. please stay. <laughs> oh, great. I'm tired oh, of looking on. at us. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Chris. Watch out for Chris. We'll, we'll see each other sometime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye from Chile. Bye. 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 Adios. Hi. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. Adios. <laughs> so, Betsy. Right. Yes. Keep Let me on going. Keep on going, going. Yes. Well, let's look at some photos. Um, so can you all see the my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry, I should have gotten back up to the top. I know, I know uh, we, saw we, did, one we saw, we talked about the, yeah. the horse horses coming to town for photo mm -hmm. ops. Um, this one uh, is from Klaus Jansen. Make it a little bigger. I, <laughs> as I was looking through these this morning, I, I was like, wait, is this over on the free space page? Well, look for the one with the boys with the sailor tops. Then I realized <laughs> that sailor tops were really popular for little boys. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> there so were a awesome. couple of them. <laughs> so here is, a, I say, I see a big boy version. And I guess that's the same version, but he's so little that it looks right. <laughs> it's okay. kind of dwarfing him. Um, very, very cute. About 1919, 1920 in Amsterdam. Nice. And uh, now this is from John Thompson. Um, mm -hmm. And let's see. Um, yes, that's right. Um, so nice. this is um, their blended family. Um, so his children, her children, and they were- Brady Bunch. I was yeah. gonna say, it looks like the Brady Bunch stock era. <laughs> How many children do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. And a beautiful photo. That's mm -hmm. really nice. Um, now this one, um, let me go small again. This is, um, Alexis, Alexis's hey. grandmother, 1899 in Illinois, her grandmother, Pearl, and her three brothers. Wow, that's a very good picture. It, it is. Except somebody was moving. I know. Well, I mean, that, that baby looks like two years old, if that, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't, can't expect stillness. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even give that baby two. I would say one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. However, this child, maybe, maybe three and staying very still. Right. That's impressive. Beautiful photo. I know we saw the twins last week, Shonda mm -hmm. 
and uh, it's their birthday month. They are May babies. Nice. Happy birthday. Uh, and then this, this is from Chris, who I know is in the chat. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just, uh, she doesn't really know who the child, who the people in this photo are, but she liked the expression of the child. The child certainly looks like uh, he, they have an opinion about something. Yes, that's, that's right. an odd angle too. That's yeah. from down below, shooting up at the right. family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks um, like a newspaper clipping. I don't know why, but it's not. Can't I can see, see that. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Just an odd angle. On the bottom of some steps or something, right? Yeah. Right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because uh, see, a door. I I think yeah. that that's a door. But mm -hmm. nobody, Wait, there's a window panes. Is there anybody? Oh, is that there? Are you, <laughs> any ghosts? Yeah, in the windows. <laughs> um, now I love it. I love it when people give us child and adult photos. Um, mm. So this is, um, uh, let's see. Please tell me her name is Pearl. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. As Chris can say, because Chris is in the chat. No, this is gra Grandma Julia. No, yeah. Yeah, this is Julia. I'm sorry, Banks, not named Pearl. <laughs> but her grandfather as a child, and then this man on the far right is, is her the grandfather. Adult version. That's cool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I think they look similar. I can I Oh can, yeah. Well you can tell. I mean, he should look like too. himself. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> sometimes sometimes people change. Mm -hmm. I, I tell you, when you come back from summer vacation when you teach in a high school, oh, yes. it's tricky. Because <laughs> they grow, they grow feed these children and they grow. That is the problem in society. We feed our <laughs> children and they grow. They dye their hair. They cut their hair. I mean, it's it's just tricky, tricky. <laughs> no, sure. um, and here we, I know oh. we, saw, we saw these these brothers, the Archer brothers, last week. See, sailor is it? No, maybe not sailor top. No, that's a sailor suit. No, yeah, okay. That one looks like yeah. Yeah. Very cute from Judy Fry. Mm -hmm. And then here we have a oh, Rob Neff. <laughs> this one was funny. Um, so this is his, his grandmother in the middle. Mm -hmm. And her her brother her cousin had found some scissors and decided to give each other haircuts. Oh. So she is growing out from that experience. And then I was having my coffee this morning reading these, and I laughed out loud um, what M. Ross said. Um, Rob, we had the same experience in my family, except it was my brother cutting my hair. I was two. While the neighbor leaned out of her window and shouted, you horrible boy, stop immediately. <laughs> I, I like that she's wearing the biggest bow you could possibly find, too. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Here, look at the bow. Focus on the bow. <laughs> um, well, I would say it was growing out quite nicely because yes. I would not have guessed. What yeah. I Don't look at my hair. Look at the bow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and the last but not least, this adorable picture is Yoke's. Paternal grandmother. Oh, nice. Uh, all three of us at once. One, two, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Yeah. So this was uh, about 1910, 1911. Be in excellent condition. Wow. It's mm -hmm. so lucky. And you have the photographer in the Silva studio. Fantastic. So thank you, everyone. Those, um, we will have one more week to show off children photos. So mm -hmm. I'm coming. Oh, wait. And there's this one. This was on the free space page. Ooh, nice. Um, Kelsey, this is from Kelsey Sullivan uh, and siblings in 1975. And I have to say, as much as I love the, the like the beautiful historic photos, it's always fun to see a, a color Polaroid. <laughs> That's yeah. a beautiful historic photo. Yeah. yeah. 1975. How many years ago was that, Betsy? Quick, math it. Yeah, math it. 25 and 23, 48. <laughs> Did you like that? She even showed her work. Greg. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I tell you, genealogy makes you good at like that kind of math. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I have a calculator. <laughs> That's now I'm not going to trust it if we're in math competition together. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, we have four and being corrected, by the way. Yeah. Because we're I in 2024. <gasps> yes. <laughs> right. Okay. My mistake. I didn't I, want I didn't want to correct you on air, but our people in the chat are just there, too... there were steam coming out of your ears. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just like, oh, that's sweet. I'm, I'm so glad I don't math in front of you people. <laughs> what control, Greg? You are a true friend. Yeah. <laughs> it was very close. <laughs> he's he's laughing so hard, he's crying now. <laughs> Okay. Well, look at the bow in my hair. Yes. Move his hand. <laughs> exactly. Distraction. We have some ancestors to celebrate. Mm. So um, we have four ancestors to celebrate. Um, the first uh, is Judith Fry's maternal aunt, Joyce Bradford. Um, and Joyce was born. Uh, so her connection to May is that she was born May 30th, 1932 in Detroit. Um, sadly, she was born with a congenital condition uh, mm -hmm. that really affected her health. And then <clears throat> further compounding difficulties was that she had uh, rheumatic fever. Mm -hmm. uh, and both both um, Joyce and Judith's mother both had rheumatic fever, but it affected Joyce uh, a whole a whole lot more. We have a, a very sweet photo. There's Joyce with her father. Um, and uh, Judith writes that um, Joyce and her mother look so much alike that if you would see a picture of one of the two of them, you really, you couldn't tell them apart. There was a five-year difference. So uh, thank you, Judith, for sharing. Mm -hmm. And uh, an and Appalachian. So mm -hmm. good. Good. <laughs> Um, and I know D. Spencer Carr is also in the chat, and uh, we can celebrate her maternal grandfather, Milan Mahaljevic, I think is how you would say it, Mahaljevic. Um, and he was born May 15th, 1898. Uh, and he was, he emigrated uh, to, um, to Wisconsin, uh, and uh, from well, as as most people know, this area, Austria, Hungary, um, was shifting borders. So um, I won't I won't pinpoint it to a com country, but he came to the United States in 1913. Um, he was one of these, or is one of these brick walls, um, because mm -hmm. he was uh, separated from. His, uh, his mother, uh, I guess very young, um, with his father, he never met him. He only has, has a name. So, um, uh, D good luck. That's, that's mm. a situation. I hope maybe DNA could, could help you untangle it. Mm. Uh, yeah. But we have some really nice, nice photos. And I was wondering what I'm guessing that so, so coal is some kind of, um, ethnic social club, uh, like a Hungarian social club, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, that's where um, he met his future bride mm -hmm. and uh, wedding pictures and beautiful family. So thank you, Dee. Um, Shonda, Shonda Feather of the Cute Twins, born in May, uh, shares uh, her fourth great-grandmother with us, Narcissa Pierce, who married a Hobson, um, and she was born May 1st, 18, 1801 or 1804. Shonda said there's some, some uh, variability in the record. Um, and Narcissa was, was a brick wall who got solved by DNA. And yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, what um, she was able to uncover is that Narcissa was one of three pure sisters who married three Hobson brothers. Uh, and there were some family legends involved, mm -hmm. um, one of which was that her, her father had been kidnapped from Scotland and forcibly brought to the United States, and they were able to disprove that. Um, and um, she, she really, uh, the, the profile is sensational, really very thorough genealogy. Talk about showing mm -hmm. your work. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it was um, 
very, very impressive, Shonda. Thank you for sharing. And uh, yes. So, and, and um, untangling the family story about her father led her to discover that she's a Mayflower descendant. So mm. very cool. Nice. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, Chris Wine. Uh, is cel we're celebrating the wedding anniversary of her paternal grandparents. They were married on May 16th, 1916. And uh, they are Ernie Lee Wine and Leota Fornish uh, from West Virginia. So biscuits, biscuits, Woo! biscuits. Um, and uh, I, again, really, uh, this must have taken a lot of time to write. Chris, you did a great job. Sort of complicated um, family, family relationships. Um, it's Appalachia, man. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> But uh, it's very, very well laid out, and we've got a nice photo here. Um, I believe that this, the oldest boy, that is Ernie. Mm. So, really nice. Photo. And their Sunday best. <laughs> That's right. And that that wash basin up there is probably where they took their baths. Their, their baths, yeah, yeah. Even the big guy. Wow, wow. <laughs> so thank you, Chris. So that that is uh, that's what we've got for our ancestors. And again, we have one more month, mm -hmm. so keep them coming. And did you have a tip of the week? No, no. I was gonna because we were you know making room for Vicky and I have a tip, please. Tip? But it, but it's not a wiki tree tip, kinda sorta. Mm -hmm. We'll take any tip. But sure. do you guys have any English ancestors? I do. You do. Mm -hmm. you do, you do, you do. I do, I do, and that is the question of the week. Ah. You have any English roots, not UK roots? Oh, English, English specifically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. England, England. So we had lots of great, great answers, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people. Vicky says, "I do." Um, <laughs> I, I, I like to Brian Mercer's short and sweet. Mm -hmm. Yes, much of my English ancestors came over about 1630 onward, mm -hmm. which is quite early yeah. for the United States. So I'm assuming he's meaning the United States because we are. I mean, we, we had Vicky on today. That could be chilly. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, John Winthrop and Dudley Bradstreet, first published female poet in the world. That's from him. Mm -hmm. All of my ancestors that I have traced were born in England. Some relatives have moved elsewhere or more married someone born outside of England. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I know mm -hmm. that, that Welsh people have this very specific sense of identity. And so, Hillary, are you not originally Welsh? That you you would, I mean, I don't know. There, there are a lot of people in Wales who would say, I know, I don't have any English. No, I don't. Yeah, no. Uh, more answers. Uh, there's a couple of uh, really fun ones here. I have English roots on both sides. Please be sure to upvote these. Uh, and that's from Marion Cerruti. Uh, short and sweet again. We do have a couple of novellas, but not really big long ones. If you want to read about the Putnam family, uh, Rebecca Putman has a great answer here. Uh, and this is, I want to talk about this right here. So uh, Kim Goforth says, my English roots run deep. I've taken a DNA test. I've taken DNA tests, plural, with multiple companies. Ancestry says 33% English, while 35% Scottish, along with a bit of Welsh. And Dane, living DNA says I'm 100% Great Britain and Ireland. Mm -hmm. Ireland is 3.7, yada, 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 yada. So there, the problem with saying that this company says I'm this and this company says I'm that Mm -hmm. is that if you take the data set from each one of these companies, you have a different set of people at each company. I, okay, mm -hmm. I've tested a lot of companies. Greg's tested a lot of companies. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people test mm -hmm. at, at a lot of companies, and some people don't. Mm -hmm. So you might have a specific group that you match to a company uh, at a specific testing company that is a bigger group than what is at another company. And so you're going to end up with a bigger percentage because those people claim to have that percentage as well. But what I want to show you is if you go over to GEDmatch, 
you can do something fun. Um, if you Ooh. go over to, let's see here. There we go. If you go over to Jedmatch or if you just type in creating a super kit at Jedmatch. Now, uh, the uh, wonderful people at uh, uh, have created this great view of how to make a super kit. And that's a super kit is where you take kits from three or four or five different companies and you combine them into one super kit. And I've done that over at Jedmatch. So I've created a super kit over at Jedmatch. And let me, I can slip this into the chat real quick. Uh, that's in my way. There we go. <clears throat> oh. So if I go to Jedmatch and I say to add mixture utilities, and I know that I am uh, from Europe, so uh, you can pick a bunch of different ones based on the different kinds. If I wanted to look for Native American, I would do the MDLP project. But I'm looking for European genes precisely. Uh, and so I can also click all of these different things, but I just want a pretty picture. So I'm going to say continue. And then, oh, I have to say parking meters. I've never seen this before. Oh. There's one. Oh my gosh. If I miss it, you. Okay. I think I've got it. Am I a human? Uh-oh. All right. There we go. So now I'm going to enter that test kit. And that test kit is my super kit that I combined all the different testing companies. I combined three or four different testing companies, created a super kit. So it's going to take my results from all these different companies. That is so cool. Yeah. And we're going to compare. So there's lots of different ways to look at this. But right now I'm just going to do Eurogenes K13. Uh, and I'm going to click here my ethnicity that I'm looking for or that that I'm specifically thinking about my ethnicity is English and, and Irish uh, so let's go it's gonna da, 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 dum, 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 da, 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 okay somebody else sing some <laughs> So what this is doing is it's taking all of the information at GEDmatch mm -hmm. and comparing all of my tests that are com combined into the super kit. And it's going to give me a, a pretty well-rounded view of what my ethnicity estimates are. And again, I'm going to say this for the 50,000th time, <laughs> yeah. it's not ethnicity. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It has everything to do with the geographic location where your group of people stopped along the way and your genes happen to mutate at that location, whether it be in Africa, Mongolia, or England. So it's still calculating my results. So <clears throat> oh, well, does, my does it maybe have to do with the fact that there are so many people with possible English, Matt, you know, ancestry. Yeah, it may be. So finding out that you don't match the right people that you think you should match because this company says this. Uh, ancestry did something recently with their Scottish. Um, let's see, where are we? That's with weird. their Scottish results, they 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 all of a sudden said I had seventy or eighty percent Scottish roots and i don't i've got a dodd <laughs> mm -hmm. thank you uh i've got mm -hmm. some scottish i've got some scottish but my closest stuff is all irish and english my galdens are are english my templetons are irish my hunts maybe welsh or irish you know it's it, there's a lot of a lot of stuff go with your research when you're looking at that mm -hmm. and don't put a lot of store it's not going to show me but anyway Oh. So you can get yourself a super kit and put it up over at uh, Ancestry or over at Jedmatch and you can run that stuff. If it, it happens to finish before we finish today, then I'll show it to you. Otherwise, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hillary has a question. She asked, do you need to upgrade to create a super kit? Uh, I don't think so. You I don't have to be your one member? Or... I haven't done it since they changed the rules. So, mm -hmm. uh, And I'm a free member... I'm, I'm, I'm a, I don't have a subscription, so yeah. Okay. All right. I do pay for the tier one membership, so I and I do have a super kit. I don't remember if I did it when I had my membership or not. 
Well, I, I could be the guinea pig. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let this run in the background, and I will let. And Betsy's going to try and do that. And but um, oh, there it is. It just came up. Is that Betsy? Well, yours came up too. This is mine. No, mine didn't, hasn't come up yet. Okay. So this is weird. This mine is is very interesting. Blow that up some for us, Greg. There please. we go. So. And this is your super kit. Great. This is my super kit. Yeah. Um. So it's saying half North Atlantic now. My maternal side, my biological maternal side is pure French Canadian, like all the way back to France. So the North Atlantic, I guess that's that includes France, right? right. Um, but Baltic, West Mediterranean, Western, West Asian, Eastern Mediterranean. That's interesting. That hmm. is. Uh, and over on the left, it gives you the, the percentages. Sub-Saharan, 0.31% there, Greg. Yeah. I mean, that just... I mean, that has to be noise, right? At that, like 0.31% is pretty tiny. It yeah. is. Yeah. And that is another thing that they have written up is that mm -hmm. you do get some background noise. Mm -hmm. um, so don't jump all over that. Yeah. 0.3%. But the West, West Asian, that's interesting. 6.3%. You would think that's not, well, that's not insignificant. Okay. So you see the North Atlantic. Yeah. So, a lot of the North Atlantic stuff, you may have some um, Inuit, not Inuit, well, Inuit because they traveled over to the, right. the Western continents. But you may have uh, connections to people in Northern uh, Scandinavia mm. who were the nomadic tribes who right. also, you know, went over into Russia and, the, and Siberia oh, right. and came across. So you may have a bit of, of of strangeness just because of right. it's very ancient dna that they're well, i was going to say what is the time frame for this yeah, it's it's the whole the whole shebang oh, okay hmm. all the way back is as wow. long as far back as ancient dna can go ah okay so we're not talking just 1500s we're talking no we're talking 300,000 ah. years ago oh and yoke says the West so there, some, could now that, be some of that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Vicky wants to know what if I only have one test? Yes, it can. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have a free uh, version, I'm not going to show my dashboard again because I've got too many testers in there mm -hmm. to show. Um, if you go over to the right hand side in the free version, go, go down to add mixtures mm -hmm. and look at that. Um, and yes, and also Native American is hard to separate from East Asian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like right. I was saying, some of those northern uh, tribes that were, you know, migrating back and forth, mm. they, you know, ended up in a lot of different... I have a friend, Mary, who is absolutely in English. She is so English, she's mm -hmm. English. Uh, but she has some uh, interesting uh, East Asian uh, results as well. And... Um, I think Randy Seaver did mm -hmm. uh, our challenge person from mm -hmm. a week ago. He did a great blog. Was it him or somebody else? Somebody did a great blog. If you just look up admixtures on GEDmatch, there are a couple of good blogs that explain the background and how they work. So look that up as well. <laughs> All right. Over to you, Greg. Okay. To you. I'm, I'm going to bid you all adieu. Okay. Thank you. Happy Thank Saturday, you. everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Betsy. Okay. So I'm going I'm to. I'm so lonesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm so I'm going to try lonesome. something slightly different in my sharing. Um, just to see if this. There we go. And where's my. Oh, back to stage. Okay. So now I am. How does that look? It looks okay. beautiful. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, I've decided I'm gonna. Uh, I'm if I share my laptop screen, it's actually the smallest of the three screens that I have going because I have my monitors are bigger. But it makes sense to me that that actually means that if I blow this up, um, it's actually gonna be easier to see for online for other people on YouTube. I think theory. So. Our theme for this week, um, which is interesting coming from, just coming from the admixtures and the list of admixtures that I had uh, selected, um, is Asian and Pacific Island notables. Now, I didn't have, well, there was that, uh, 
East Asian little bit there um, that was in my percentage there in West Asian. So maybe some of those would have counted as um, that category. But uh, Asian and Pacific Island notables, because uh, is this uh, Asian and Pacific uh, Pacific um, Island month, or there was there's some connection to that theme, I think, in terms of years or months or weeks or, or whatever. Uh, and I don't remember exactly what it is, but there we go. So we've got a list of them, and we're going to start off with the Emperor Hirohito. Uh, Nerohito is the emperor of Japan. It's, uh, Nerohito is the profile, head profile. Um, and he acceded, uh, uh, rose to the Chrysanthemum throne on the 1st of May, 2019. So relatively recently, beginning the Reiwa era, following the abdication of his father, Akihito. And he is the 126th monarch, according to the Japan's traditional order of succession. That's pretty wild, isn't it? 126? Wow. That's amazing. It's very cool to see Wikitree, like uh, the the fact that we can actually see names in sort of the, the native writing style or um, the traditional writing style. And look at all these different writing styles of writing the same name. So that's pretty cool. I can't read any of it, unfortunately. No. <laughs> um, and it's interesting. So Naruhito is the name that he goes by now or that we call him. But obviously other versions, uh, Hironima, Hironomiya, uh, Teno, Teno, uh, Tenua. I'm not sure how to pronounce all, the, all those other ones, but um, interesting, different names. Uh, he attended uh, Gakushuin schools in Tokyo and later studied history um, at the Gakushuin University and English at Merton College in Oxford. So that's kind of cool. And he married a diplomat, Ma Masako Owada. They have one daughter, Iko. So um, the next the next profile is our former Governor General Adrian Clarkson from Canada. Oh, nice! Yeah, isn't that cool? Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, she was. Um, I, I thought she was a, a great Governor General, and I do too. I do too. I, I almost think that she's sort of like um, they kind of broke the mold with her. She was very classy. She very did, classy. She took the role seriously, and she gave it a lot of. Gravitas and I like our current. I like our current. Um, yeah, Governor General. I want to say that my son mm -hmm. was on the Christmas card for her and her husband one year. The, Adrian or the current one? Yeah, Adrian Clarkson. My son appeared really? in the in the Christmas card. Uh, it was take a picture was taken at Canada Day, and my my son was in the Children's Choir of Ottawa, and they were singing. Uh, in the background, and he is full on right, right between oh, your husband, right behind them. That's very, very cool. Isn't that's, that cool? That's very cool. Um, so she was the 26th Governor General of Canada, um, and she has a very interesting story. And I love this profile; it's really well done because it it it's 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 like a story because it starts off talking about how her paternal grandfather immigrated to Victoria in Australia. Um, in a place called Chiltern, and then returned to Hong Kong with his son, William. And William worked for the Canadian Trade Mission there. And that's where he met his wife, Ethel. And then Adrian was born in 1939 in Hong Kong. Um, but she arrived in Canada as a refugee from the Japanese occupied Hong Kong in 1942, along with her parents and her brother, Neville, and then raised in Ottawa. So that's their backstory, basically, um, which is very cool how that that was interesting. And then she attended public schools in Ottawa, Was uh, went to Lisgar Collegiate Institute, then St. Hilda's College at the U of T, uh, University of Toronto at Trinity College, um, got a Bachelor of Arts and a Master's degree in English. And then she won, how appropriate that when she was in college, she won the Governor General's Medal for English. And then eventually became the Governor General and, and probably gave out. Governor gave General. out a couple of those. <laughs> Um, after traveling through Asia, she studied at the Sorbonne in Paris. Um, her thesis was on the poetry of George Meredith. <laughs> um, married Stephen Clarkson, and they were together for 12 years and had two daughters together. Um, for Canadians, she's, uh, along with being Governor General, she was also well known because she was a host for 30 years on CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Company. Um, 
and she's done lots of shows. The Fifth Estate uh, was probably the the biggest one. Uh, it was yeah. a hard hitting documentary show, sort of like your 60 Minutes in the right. state. Um, if you want a, a parallel, I'm not sure what the BBC um, parallel would be, but I'm sure there is something like that. Um, but anyways, uh, but there's a few other so shows that she did as well. Take 30 was also sort of a precursor to the Fifth Estate. And then she became uh, the Governor General, and she was also an Agent General for Ontario in Paris. Uh, yeah, there we go. And she's currently married to the writer John Ralston Saul, who's a uh, are known in his very name. graceful. I liked your word describe her. She was very elegant, or she is mm -hmm. very elegant. She was, mm -hmm. yeah, very neat. I like um, Mikhail Jean, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're, we're waxing and waning, we're waxing <laughs> about great Canadians, great Canadians. Uh, and now so, now this uh, is how do you pronounce that last name? name? Well, I, I was yeah. looking. I was looking online. I'm trying. I was trying to find the definitive one. One one um, YouTube video said that you pronounce it Heine, which is sort of like a Dutch pronunciation. And I'm not quite sure if that's appropriate or not. Dwight Heine. Um, Lisa. Lisa. What's Lisa say? Oh, she's got some Canadian flags there. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, he was born in the Marshall Islands. Died actually. He's all about the Marshall Islands. Born born 1919 in the Marshall Islands, and then passed away at the age 65 in 1984 in the Marshall Islands. And so he was a Marshallese politician, um, a member of the the. He was a speak a member and you a have speaker. to look that up too. What Marshallese? Marshallese? No, it's just what you, what you call somebody from the Marshall Islands. Is Marshallese? Well, it's written here in the profile. I didn't, oh, have, to, okay. didn't have to make it up. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, don't don't give yourself credit there. Okay, okay. Um, now I'm wondering because the pronunciation and the name obviously there there is a version of that name in in, in Holland. So I've got a Dutch pronunciation, um, and there certainly was a Dutch presence in the uh, Asia Pacific area. So I'm wondering if the Marshall Islands were originally a Dutch colony. Um, I'm sure someone in the chat will look that up and let me know because if that's true, then, then that pronunciation might be more accurate. Uh, he was homeschooled till the age of 14, attended a mission school. Um, but he then he went on to become speaker, uh, speaker of the house for the Marshall Islands Congress in the Congress of Micronesia and in the House of Representatives of the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands. There's your answer, no. No. Oh, okay. Thanks, Yoke. <laughs> um, and then served as the District Administrator of the Marshall Islands from 65 to 69. He studied at the University of Hawaii, so that's kind of cool, um, between 48 and 50. And he also protested the atomic bomb tests that were taking place in Bikini Atoll and served as president for the Marshall Islands Congress, as we said. Then we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, <laughs> who uh, has sort of his ancestral past, if, you look, if we look at his ancestors, has two very distinct forks to it. So half of him, his, his paternal side is all Canadian, Nova Scotia. And um, actually, because of his grandfather's Canadian roots, he actually has Canadian citizenship, or at least he had Canadian citizenship at one point. Um, so look at that. All goes all the way back. Amherst, Nova Scotia. Um, but on his mother's side, it's all Samoa. So interesting combo there. Uh, so he was born Dwayne Douglas Johnson, also known by his ring name, The Rock, American actor, producer, and professional wrestler. Was a college football player originally um, at the University of Miami, um, and he won a national uh, championship for the Hurricanes. Uh, but and then he played for the Calgary Stampeders. So there's another can bit of CanCon Canadian content. C Calgary Stampeders is one of our um, teams from the Canadian Football League. Um, maybe not as well known as your American football leagues, but uh, <laughs> uh, but he only lasted two months, and then he was cut. <laughs> I kind of think that's funny. <laughs> Um, then he decided to go, he, he couldn't make it in Canadian football. He decided to go into professional wrestling. And so there we go. And then the rest is history. Um, I kind of think it's funny that Dwayne was cut from a Canadian football team. <laughs> Isn't he 
part of the new American Football League that's playing now? Oh, probably. Yeah. The, oh. They're saying German and Dutch for the last one. Ah, week. okay, good. Well, I always think of the, the Dutch pronunciation and the German would be very close. So there we go. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Klaus. And Yoke also had something Yoke else in there about Thank you, Yoke. Okay. Marshall okay. Islands. Uh, okay. Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. You know, I didn't realize that Germany had colonized some of those areas as well. Yeah. Um, okay. I Ooh. love I love that you get to do these pronunciations. I know. I was thinking that too. So I had before I, I was able to rhyme this off once before the show began. Let's see how this goes. You were so, able to roll this off once before the show began. Yes. I'm practicing his name. Tapua Tamasese. <laughs> You're so bad. The third. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. 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 And of course, he was the son of Tapua Tamasese Lialo Fioana, the second, who is probably the probably the grandson of the same the first. Yeah, the yeah, the the first guy. <laughs> yeah, Lialo Fioana was the paramount, paramount chief of Samoa. I wonder if he's connected to, uh, related to uh, um, Dwayne, the rock. Uh, he was a holder of the Tapua Tamasese dynastic title and became the leader of the country's pro-independence mo uh, movement from the early 20, 1928 until his assassination by the New Zealand police in 29. Wow. So this is actually a sad story. So he was inspired by Christian beliefs and believed in peaceful protest. Um, so there was a demonstration going on and a brawl broke out and he ran in front to tell people, you know, yell, he yelled out peace, peace, but then he was shot from behind by the police officer on a balcony. Um, and those who tried to assist him were also shot. He was taken to the hospital and he died the next day. But his final words were this, my blood has been spilt for Samoa. I am proud to give it. Do not dream of avenging it as it was spilt in peace. If I die, Peace must be maintained at any price. Isn't that kind of sad, but very impressive that, that he still wanted peace after all that. Then we have, moving on, we have Stacy Park Milburn, who's a distant cousin. She's, a, um, she's my seventh cousin. Ooh, very close. Ooh. Wow. Well, um, let's see. She was, I think, uh, she was from North Carolina. There's a North Carolina connection there. That um, makes sense. Yeah. She was born at a US, in a U.S. Army hospital in Seoul, Korea. Um, her parents are both listed as private, so I don't what? say what her name was. She was a, a queer Korean-American disability rights activist in North Carolina and California and a prominent advocate for disability justice in healthcare and Medicaid in home care services. She had a congenital muscular dystrophy um, disease that she uh, battled through her life. Um, as a teenager, she started writing a blog, moved to Oakland when she was 24, graduated with an MBA. And she actually was appointed by President Obama to serve on the Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. Um, Sadly, when she was only 23, or when she was 33, on her 33rd birthday, she had surgery and died um, of complications unexpectedly, um, but active in disability outreach. So very impressive. There That's she is. Impressive. Nice smile. Very nice. Very sad that we've lost her so soon. But boy, was she, she's obviously a vocal advocate, and that's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sono Osato, who is my closest, um, which I wouldn't have guessed from the name. Uh, she's my seventh cousin once removed. She's my 23rd. Oh, so we're, we're like flipping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but her last name, Osato, um, because of her father's lineage. Um, but her mother, um, her mother uh, has, has French Canadian roots there. Her grandmother, why her grandmother, Agnes Langto uh, from Montreal, and then all of her relatives, ancestors in that line were all French Canadian. So that is how 
I get to be so close, relatively speaking. Rel oh, relatively. <laughs> but on bump. But on bump. We don't have that sound effect. Oh, uh, yeah. So she was an American dancer and actress, performed with the ballet companies, the Ballet Russe de Mont Mont um, I was gonna say Monte Carlo, Monte Carlo. <laughs> Um, which was one of the most famous uh, companies at the time, and the American Ballet Theater. Uh, interesting, as an actress, she starred alongside Frank Sinatra in a film called The Kissing Bandit. So she was born in 1919 and then passed away at the age of 99 in 2018 on Boxing Day. Isn't that wild, eh? That uh, is which, wild. Yeah. Uh, in 2018. So, yeah, there's a picture of her. Gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, she was, uh, I think, the youngest member of the troupe and the first one with the, with Japanese uh, ancestor or descent. Very cool. Uh, then we have uh, Hong Li Qianglong, Emperor of Zhao uh, Zhang of Qing. Um, I was gonna. Uh, I, I hope I pronounced those right. I didn't get a chance to look those up, so I'm just faking it. Um, Young Long, the emperor in China, was one you of them. You fake it well. Well, there you go. There I you just, go. go ahead, full steam ahead. <laughs> um, he was along one of the longest reigning monarchs in history. Interesting. Born in seven, Now, it doesn't say how long he reigned. Oh, after he retired after 60 years as emperor. There we go, right there. And then he retired, so he didn't stopped being emperor because he died, but he just retired and gets passed on to. He retained the ultimate power as an emperor emeritus. I know. How cool is that? What a great title. Emperor emeritus. Yes. <laughs> That's so much more impressive sounding than professor emeritus. <laughs> um, very cool. From 1711. But they've got a nice portrait of him there. Uh, and then we have Robindro Shankar Chowdhury, who um, lived to 92, born in 1920, died in uh, 2012 at the age of 92 in San Diego, uh, born in British India. And he became or he went was more commonly known as Ravi Shankar. He dropped the his family dropped the Chowdhury uh, surname at some point. And he was posthumously inducted into the World Music Hall of Fame. Uh, he was uh, born into a family of musicians and dancers. Uh, when he was first born, he was part of a Bengali Brahmin caste. So that's the highest social class in the Hindu tradition. And he went by the name of Robu when he was a kid. Um, then his father was the one who dropped Chowdhury, so obviously he did too. And then chose the Sanskrit spelling of his name, Ravindra Shankar, which later became shortened to Ravi, which means the sun. That's kind of neat. Uh, emigrated to New York just when he was 12 years old and uh, continued making trips back and forth and became a sitar player. His daughter, Nora, mm -hmm. is a very, very well-known um, roots, grass, roots, Americana uh, singer. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the profile goes on, talks about marriages and children. He has uh, many of both of those. Um, and talked about being, he was a Hindu and a devotee of uh, one uh, Hindu god, Hanuman, and also a saint, a, bin, a Hindi saint. So we, he, we need to do something about the show, Greg. Why, why is that? John I was Kinder sleeping, not cooking anything, food. Chris. Oh, no, John. What? Oh, that cuts what? Me. Oh, what? Oh. Yeah, really. Oh. Um, then we have Taika Waititi from New Zealand. Uh, o N Z M. O N Z M. The Order of New Zealand men? <laughs> Probably not men. <laughs> he came from the Bay of Plenty. I'm looking the to The Bay see of Plenty. Plenty. How great is that? The Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. Uh, Cohen. Taika David Cohen. O N Z M. Known professionally as Taika Watiti, New Zealand filmmaker, actor. Uh, BAFTA award winner, Grammy award winner, primetime Emmy award winner, son of farmer and artist Tiger Watiti, and the school teacher Robin Cohen. He used both parents' surnames throughout his life as he loved them both, and his parents weren't married. 
His father is of the Te Wanua Apanui, uh, Maori descent, and his mother is Russian Jewish. He um, lived mostly with his mom after his, after his parents split. He was listed among the 50 coolest Kiwis ever. <laughs> is, that, is that what the OZM, O, Z, N, M? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Someone has to tell us what the M stands for in the Order of New Zealand. Mm. Mm. The Order, Order of New Zealand. New Zealand. Mm. Mm. Nora mm. Jones. Don't know why I didn't come was her Grammy winning song. That's, yeah, Nora Jones was, yes. I like her a lot. Order of Merit. Order uh, of Merit. Thank you very much, Joke. <laughs> uh, Penny Wong is a distant cousin uh, managed by the Australia Project. First is a woman of first in Australian political circles. First woman to be elected as the ALP Senate leader. Um, first Asian Australian in an Australian cabinet. First woman for climate change. First woman to serve as a leader of the government in the Senate and currently serving as Australia's Minister for Foreign Affairs. Very Foreign busy woman. Very, very busy, very accomplished. Very impressive. Very impressive. Born in 68. And then look at this. It's like a, it's like a resume. Yeah, it's like a CV. CV, yeah, that's you right. You need to write them up. She just goes <laughs> Yeah. Very nice. Known for her cool, calm, decisive manner and her negotiating skills are beyond measure. Sounds impressive. And the last one is Chung Bunker. So Chung had a, a twin brother who he was very connected with. Yes. <laughs> um, conjoined. Chang, in fact. Chang, wait, Chang and, and Ng. Chang, Chang and Ng, yes. Okay. And that's because of their fame being joined together and they, the fact that they were born in Siam. That's where the, the expression Siamese twins comes from. When did, did, okay, so he died yeah. January, when did his brother die? I'm sorry. Were they, hours did they, what's that? Within hours. Okay. Yeah. They died hours, uh, Aang died hours after Chang at the age of 62 on the 17th. That's January. craziness. Isn't it? Well, That's... So the autopsy revealed that they were fused together, their livers were fused together in the ligament that connecting their sternums. So, wow. Yeah. So. Interesting. They married two sisters. Did you know that? They married two sisters, had two different households, and they spent three days in one house and then three days in the other house. It, 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 Together, they fathered 21 children. That would be so hard. Oh, my gosh. Like, I, 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 I just, I can't imagine. <laughs> Vicky Blanco is going on about how um, Ravi gave sitar lessons to George Harrison and oh. wanted to know how we could possibly miss that connection to the Beatles. Oh, Greg. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed that. Was it in the profile? Was it in the profile? I don't know. I'm searching for the word Harrison. Harrison is not in the profile. So. <gasps> Someone needs to add that piece of trivia to the file. But I, I actually did know that. I did know that. Well, I mean. And I didn't bring it, makes it up. Sense. He's a famous sitar player. Who else would George have asked? Right? Really? Really. So and weird. they, his music, George plays sitar in some of the music. Exactly. Well, that's just yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Are you finally done? I am done. And, um. When Julie gets home, we are heading to Toronto to babysit our grandchildren. So that's very exciting. So, what are your grandchildren doing in Toronto? And why do you well, have to go to Toronto to babysit them? Well, because my my daughter and son-in-law are at a wedding, and it's oh, an adults-only wedding, so they need someone to babysit the children. That's and nice. so there's a hotel room rented in our name so oh. that we can go. Yes, that sounds fun. It should be fun. That sounds very fun. That was very yeah. fun. I'm going to do some really quick stuff here. Let me grab up my page, get it shared up. Here we go. We got some stuff coming up. Thank you, Lisa mm -hmm. Gervais, for getting this uh, put together for us. Mm -hmm. This is the week of Sunday, May 19th. Uh, G Mun has uh, just finished up her stuff on the no, 23rd. She's, the she cemetery. What's that? It's in it's in progress this week. In progress. In progress. Uh, cemetery Spotlight is Abney Park Cemetery. Uh, we've mm. got the question of the week coming up. Global Spotlight with uh, Awen and uh, 
who's that woman? Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> the one name study is Oaks. Uh, Connection Combat's coming up. One place Wednesday is Ellen Aberdeenshire. Uh, Project Showcase DNA. Cool beans. Uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Spotlight. Don't know who it is, though. Connection Finder. And then next mm -hmm. week, you have the Saturday morning live cast. There We're back. <laughs> Children, celebrate your ancestors. And this is on the Ambassadors Project. You can find that. Mm -hmm. uh, we have other stuff going on. If we go over to our G to G feed and we look up <clears throat> very quickly, go to just all the answers. Mm -hmm. A new connection check checkers game, Asian and Pacific Island <laughs> notables. That's funny. Uh, what's happening around Wiki Tree in June mm -hmm. uh, and May? May. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. You're rushing. You're rushing the season. I'm rushing the season. <laughs> so, uh, question of the week: English roots. Uh, 52 Ancestors Week. Thank you, Amy Johnson Crow, for that. Uh, Data Doctors Challenge. Find a Grave Connections. Uh, mm -hmm. Connection Checkers. Asian and Pacific Island Notables. Judy Munn. Uh, Saturday Sourcing Sprints going on. Question of the Week. 52 Ancestors. The Data Doctors <laughs> Challenge. Anyway, we got lots of stuff going on. Yeah. There's lots of stuff going on, on this, in this place. And we appreciate you being here to uh, be a part of our week mm -hmm. and being a part of what WikiTree is all about. Uh, I have not been on WikiTree as much as I like to. I've been so mm -hmm. busy. I need I need somebody to cancel all of my stuff and let me just play on WikiTree <laughs> for a while. It's not work. At yeah. WikiTree. It's playing no, it's fun. Yeah. So we're so glad you were here, and we hope that we see you again soon. We have will. a good week. See ya. Bye.